the things that uh, adds quite a lot of life and uh, some poignancy to any painting and I'm going to do it here on this dark color so you can see it with a very wet brush again you can see I've got quite a lot of moisture in the brush um, is to make a, a circle or a moon so just come around in a circle coming all the way around it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. In fact, if it's a little off, it uh, makes it a bit more interesting. Set your brush down, and what we're going to do while the paper is still wet is we're going to rip this circle out. The reason we don't want to use a glass or something like, um, I don't know, like a compass or, or scissors is that it's just a little bit too, um, too hard, and it doesn't quite have the, the life and the, the variety and the interest. Okay, here you can see that I don't quite have a perfect circle, but I can come around and again, at the white seam where my brush went, I can just gently pull this away. And what you want to do when you're trying to make a moon is avoid some of these sharp corners. So you just pull very, very gently and you'll pull at the fibers and this will give a really nice soft effect to the edge of your painting. Obviously, handmade papers uh, like washi are really, really good to do this with, but if you don't have a washi, that's fine. Try it with whatever you have. Um, generally speaking, it's, it's nicer to do this with a thicker type of paper um, because you'll have a little bit more durability to your moon or to your shape. And you can do the same thing if you want to make mountains with soft or soft rolling hills. You can do the same effect. Okay, so here I can see if I lay it on the surface there um, that I've got a little bit of a, a round circle in order to make a moon, and that's what we'll do next. So back here at our painting, uh, and I'll just put it here so that we can see it. Again, you can hold the shadow of the moon over top where you may want to put it. It wouldn't make much sense to have it down here on the ground. Uh, it would make more sense to have it up sort of in the sky where the moon is, but I really want to uh, to have you able to see it. So I'll, let's put it around here and I'm just going to place it right down there on top of the painting. Very important not to move it uh, when you're going through this process. And this is a wonderful tool that you can buy in Japan, uh, or perhaps you can make your own. There's just a, a very simple kind of screen that's here in a nice uh, hard, rigid plastic uh, container. You may be able to try this with some of those, uh, those rounded things for tea. I don't know, I have never tried it, but this is quite effective and we're going to use just a special brush to wiggle it on there, but if you don't have a special brush, you can also use a toothbrush, so I'll show you that next.